We're at Universal Studios Hollywood for their 60th anniversary. From April 26th until August 11th, 2024, they have a very special version of the studio tour available. Join us to keep watching and see what's new. Oh, it's good to see you, time travelers. Doing this feeling of wonder. After a morning hike to the Hollywood sign, we figured that since we were in the neighborhood, we'd make use of our annual passes and visit Universal. This day was also the first official day of the 60th anniversary special edition studio tour. Our 12,000 step hike earned us a stop at Voodoo Donuts on the way in. We went for the PB&J, which is filled with raspberry jelly, topped with peanut butter, and chopped peanuts. We entered the park and went straight for the studio tour. The wait in line was about 20 minutes maybe. They had more trams running than usual and things moved pretty quickly. Though we didn't get on one of the featured glamour trams, we were able to get end seats so that we could see everything on the right side clearly. As you head towards the back lot, you'll see posters of various Universal films and past the Universal Studios fire station. Universal City, where the park is located, is a real city and therefore must have its own fire station. You see one of the most iconic bungalows on the lot. That is Bungalow 5195. It belonged to the incomparable Alfred Hitchcock, who directed such legendary work as The Birds, Psycho, and Vertigo. Right now, the bungalow belongs to the De Laurentiis Company, led by Martha De Laurentiis, which brought the legend of Dr. Hannibal Lecter to the biggest one screen. Bungalow 5195, right here. Now coming up on Yoda Fun Side, you see some pages 25 and 26. These are our new ones out there. It's basically just foam rubber and fiberglass. So coming up on the right hand side, you see our Brown Strong Street. Brown Strong Street became Buffalo, New York, and who's almighty starring Jim Carrey. B E A Beautiful. Uh, this is Courthouse Square, and there is Dog Brown. Hi, Dog. <laughs> We looped around from Courthouse Square to the Metro sets. You'll see we are now on the other side of the street from the Brownstone Street set we saw a moment ago. We are now approaching the back lot monster mural painted by artist Tristan Eaton. This mural is 50 by 200 feet and was finished in 2019. From right to left as we approach it you'll see Wolfman, the creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein's monster and his bride, and to the far left, Dracula. Decoration and the languages on the signs have taken audiences across the globe to destinations such as Cairo, Egypt, and the 1932 film The Mummy, Paris, France, and the 1933 film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Transylvania, and the 1931 film Dracula. Sorry. We've also taken you to the afterlife. Right now, we're in the good place, where the streets are lined with frozen yogurt shops and stores where everything fits. These were the exterior sets for our critically acclaimed comedy starring Kit Danson, Pusson Bell, and Manny Jacinto.
As we leave Europe, we enter Amity Island, New York, the home of Jaws. Usually the tour guide is playing a video at this point or narrating. However, just above us on the hill, there was an active filming set for the Peacock show, Bel Air. From Amity Island, we were transported to Mexico. In this next area, we learn how they're able to make rainy scenes happen in an otherwise sunny California lot. And we got rain. If you look up, you can see a sprinkler system that is shooting water straight up in here. The water falls back down naturally, and that's how we create rain for movies and TV shows. It's really simple, but realistic and effective. Our special thanks to each of the fantastic job. hotel, saloon, and bank. Uh, six different restaurants will be shot here at the same time because sound was not an issue. As a matter we're now at the War of the World set, which has been part of the studio tour since 2005. And that's crazy to me to think that that was almost 20 years ago. What you see here is a real 747 aircraft, which was bought by production and torn apart to look as if it had crashed right there. On the right hand side, you'll see one of the most iconic sets still standing in Hollywood, uh, the Psycho House coming up on the right. If you look carefully, you might even see Mother peering out the bedroom window. She's really creepy on the second floor up there. She's looking at you. And up next is our official scale replica of LA's most iconic landmark, the Hollywood sign, coming up. So besides our encounter with Doc Brown, exclusive to the 60th anniversary studio tour is this area at the Bates Motel. Here, you will depart your original tram and have the opportunity to walk through this special area, looking around, getting your photo taken with some iconic Universal movie props. After you pass through the Bates Motel, you'll end up where Whoville used to be. Here you can get your photo with the Fast and Furious cars, Kong's hand, or Jaws himself. When you're ready to continue the tour, head over to staff who will direct you to a line to wait in for the next available tram. ...to the Winking Room and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Show. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Yeah. Why? A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. Oh, it's not looking so live anymore. So, we have yet to see Nope as of this recording. I always enjoy Jordan Peele movies, but I'm usually hesitant to watch them. If you've seen the movie, I'm guessing this will make perfect sense to you. But let us know in the comments. Should Nope be our next movie night selection? Welcome to the 
to the world of no. For the last attraction on our studio tour, we paid a visit to Dominic Toretto and his ever-growing family. My name is Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. My buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you. Now we can just enjoy the party from our seats. So from just about here on, you'll need your 3D glasses that they give you at the start of the tour. Usually my eyes can't process 3D that well, even with the glasses. But this particular attraction does a fantastic job with that feature. You'll have to take the studio tour to check it out yourself. By this point, the only thing we had eaten all day was the donut when we arrived. Cletus's Chicken Shack in Springfield, USA didn't have much of a line, so we headed in. Seating was limited downstairs, so we headed up to the second level. To our surprise, Cletus, Moe's Tavern, and Krusty Burger are all connected and perfectly themed. We've been coming here for 10 years, and we've never seen this. Here's a little walkthrough of all three, starting with, I think, Krusty Burger, then Moe's, then Cletus's. Yeah. We ended our day with a trip to the lower lot to see if Matt could get on the Jurassic World ride, but Single Rider was closed and he wasn't interested in waiting 30 minutes by himself, since I won't get on that ride ever again. Once was enough. We stopped by the mobile bar cart outside of Jurassic World where Matt got the Isla Nubler IPA. We passed by Megatron as he was out taunting the crowd and did a walk through Super Mario World, which you'll see in our next video from a previous visit. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing while you're at it. We hope you'll join us on some of our travels as we get more comfortable with YouTube and eventually work our way to being in front of the camera instead of just operating it. Are you going to be making a trip to Universal Studios this summer to check out the 60th anniversary studio tour? Are you also eyeing up any of the special edition merchandise? Let us know in the comments and we hope you have a great day.